Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Tech Sundays. Suppose you have to calculate the number of whole work days between two dates and also you have a condition where you can specify the weekends. That means that can be Sunday or Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday or maybe Friday and Saturday. Additionally, if you also would like to include the number of holidays in that then how you are going to calculate that kind of measure or how you are going to calculate that kind of calculation in this video i'm going to explain you how you can achieve that so let's learn something new in dax the very first we are going to use a new DAX function that is network days. It returns the number of whole work days between two dates and both dates are going to be inclusive. In this we can also define parameters which and how many days are weekend days plus you can also include the holidays as an optional parameter. Over here on your screen you can see that its syntax is we have to first write down the DAX function name which is network days then you have to define or you have to write down your start date end date and then you have to specify your weekends additionally you can also mention your holidays over there so now let's have a look about the parameters over here the very first is going to be your start date which is going to be a date that represents the start date where you have to perform your calculation in case of end date, it's going to be the date that represents the end date. Now let's talk about the weekends. So suppose in different countries we have different weekends. For example, generally or by default, we consider one which is going to be your Saturday and Sunday. And then in some other country, let's say the weekend is going to be Friday and Saturday. So on your screen, you can see some of the number in the weekend parameter. So you can use these number while writing your calculation. Additionally, as an optional parameter, you have holidays. Holidays is going to be a column table for one or more dates that are to be excluded from the working days calendar. Now, let's also focus on some of the remarks while using this text function. The very first would be that this function is definitely similar to the Excel function which is networkdays.intl and networkdays. If start date and end date both are blank, then definitely the output value is also going to be blank. If either start date or end date is blank, for example your start date is blank or your end date is blank, the blank start date or end date will be treated as 30th of December 1899. Lastly, dates must be specified by using date function or as the result of another expression. For example, you can use, either use the date function over there, which is a dex function again, to convert your value into date, or you can use another format that Microsoft introduced lately, that is DT, and it's also going to be recognized by this dex function. Now we are going to move to the demo part where I'm going to show you how you can literally use this text function. Right now as you can see I'm into my Power BI file over here we are going to use this text function. On my right hand side I have measure table where I have only one measure so let's create a new measure over here. I believe this is going to be visible. So very first we have to write our network this text function. Next over here you would see that this function is not recognized cannot find the network days function and why is that because it's a new text function so if you are also going to face the same challenge you have to download the latest version of microsoft power BI desktop application now i'm back on the same file and over here on my right hand side you can see that this measure is still not complete that's why it's showing the warning sign over here and we have already one measure that is total sales now let's click on this one and here i'm just going to remove it so last time what was happening that my desktop power desktop application wasn't able to recognize this new dex function 
So what we have done, we have just updated our Power BI desktop application. Now let's create this Dex function. So first of all, you have to write your Dex function name, which is appearing over here, network days. And here you can clearly see that it's asking you to mention your start date, end date, weekend, and optionally holidays parameter. And now let me start writing my start date. And for that, I'm going to use this date text function again. And here I can mention my year, month, and my day. And then comma, then you have to mention your end date. Then you have to also specify your weekend. And for this demo purpose, I'm just taking initially one only where Saturday and Sunday are going to be our weekend day. And I'm not going to mention any holiday as of now. We'll try again into the different Dex function. So let's hit the enter button over here. So it's going to return you an integer number of whole days. For that, I can check this card. So these are going to be your networking days. Those are going to be 97. Now let's try to do something different this time. And this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this text function from here. I'm going to take two dates and both dates are going to be weekend. Additionally, I'm going to specify another optional parameter that is holidays. So for that, let's create a new measure. So we are going to take two dates that is 28th over here. You can see 28th of May is going to be a Saturday. 29th is Sunday and then 30th is the Monday. So we are going to, uh, we are going to take these three dates over here and we are going to keep the weekend same as Saturday and Sunday. So in this case, you have to mention the month. So let's see what happens over here. So this is going to be a Saturday. Sunday is going to be 29th of May and Monday is 30th. Now I'm also going to mention another parameter that is going to be my date parameter for the holidays. And here, as I mentioned, in case of the holidays, you have to have a column of dates over there, a table that is going to be specified as the column of dates. Let me format it a bit. So what I'm doing over here, I'm trying to calculate the networking days from start date, which is going to be 28th of May and date, which is going to be 30th of May. But the 30th of May, since it's a Monday and over here, I'm mentioning it as my holiday. So that means all three days are going to be holiday and in this case my expected return value would be zero because there is no working day at all in between them and just hit the enter button or click over here so here you can clearly see that there are zero work days between these two dates So let's recap over here. The very first we calculated a measure that is networking days where you have to mention your start date, then end date. Both date formats are supported over here. You can also specify it as a literal format, your date, or you can use this most commonly used date format. So both are gonna work. Then also you have to mention a number over here which is going to define your weekend, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, etc. You can check all the values. I'm gonna provide you the reference link in the description section. Secondly, we calculate it using holidays. First day is Saturday, then this day is a Monday, but in the holidays parameter, we have already defined this is as our holiday. That's why it was returning us a zero value over here. That's all guys for this video. I hope now you have a clear understanding how to use network days dex function which is new and I'm sure this is going to help you a lot whenever you have to work on the employee data or you have to create certain measures where you have to consider only the networking days.